everyone. I'm Blake Schwank with CCSIT Pros. And I was just chatting with a friend of mine who's a CFO at a very large medical practice, a couple hundred employees. And what we were talking about is this is IT, especially health IT. It's not all about the tech. The tech, whether we're talking technicians or the technology, is super important. It's what keeps the hospital running, keeps the practice running. But what we were talking about is that it's everything else around that. Now, he was an Air Force officer. I was an Army officer. We learned to plan, 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 and then execute. And then after we execute, review the execution. There was so much time spent in preparing to ensure that we're successful. And then making sure that we review what went right, what went wrong. And IT is the same way, especially in a large business. There's been a lot of talk in, in our world, in the IT support world, about how easy it's become and do we really need IT people. And you know, if you have a company that's five, 10 employees, you used to need an IT team to come over, set up your computers, network them to the server, set up your small business server, help you with plugging in your mouse even, um, and installing the operating system. It's gotten so easy now that a lot of times you can go take a computer, plug in a printer, and set up your five-person office without much need of an IT technician. But we get up to to the other end of the scale of you know large organist, large medical practices, couple hundred people, three or four hundred people, and then it really takes serious planning. Now the technology, it's easier to set up a computer than it used to be but we want to talk about other things. One of those things I wanted to chop, chat about and I was talking to him about was change management. IT, IT people a lot of times just think it's plugging in that device and you're done. Well, or you move a server and you're done. But to do it successfully, to minimize the impact on your rural hospital, on your medical practice, you really need to plan it out. And so that's where change management comes in. And this is not a training session on change management. It's just a little bit of information. You can go out and Google it and uh, and find templates and stuff. But change management really comes down to getting buy-in and making sure that people know. You come up with a plan of what you're going to do. So what is the change you want to implement? And even if it's swapping printers, you go swap printers in the finance department and you don't plan that out, you're going to wreak havoc on billing and AR and, and, and all those things. So you want to determine also who is responsible, what are the roles and responsibility and what is the change control board? And so it's not just IT and the CFO, you might need the chief of nursing, you might need the COO involved on a regular basis if you're doing things like moving servers or reinstalling or, or upgrading servers because you can really impact patient care if you take a server down at the wrong time. And so all those departments need to be involved. You need to make sure that you're ready for the change. And so this might be as simple as making sure that that you've got the all the latest updates on your operating system so that you can implement a new tool. Um, you need to assess what the impact is. And so if you're Again, back to the accounting department, if you are making a change right before payday, you might impact people's payroll and, and making sure that they get their checks. So you wanna make sure that, that you take the time to sit down with your IT team and assess what is, what, what's the impact on the operations gonna be. You wanna assess the risk of the plan. What happens if you do this and something goes south, something doesn't work right. What is the risk? Is it is it is it extreme or is it just an inconvenience? You know, is it going to um, cause you to have to reroute patients if something happens, send them to another hospital if a change does not go as expected? And then you want to communicate it out to all the not just the stakeholders but the employees to make sure that 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 happens. Um, and then you want to make sure you do a change request form so everything is documented and everybody signs off on that they agree with the change and that all the steps have been followed. And then as they go through the change, you want to make sure that they're logging the changes so that they can back out because that's a critical thing is to make sure you have a back out plan. And then after it's all said and done, the dust settles on that change, whether it's you installed a printer or you upgraded a bunch of servers or you moved servers from one location to another, 
is sit down and assess what happened with your IT team, good and bad. In, in the military, we used to call these AARs, and, uh, it, but it, it helps you grow and it helps your team learn what to do next time and if you miss something in the communication. So that's just a quick thing on, on why IT is not just about the tech. It is about the, the 70%, 80%, that is not technical, it's the business side of IT to make sure that this stuff gets done properly and that you are successful in your practice. If you have questions on this, if you want to talk about what change management should look like, whether or not your IT team is doing it properly, your internal team is doing it properly, give us a call at CCS IT Pros. We help other hospitals and practices implement this and manage this. You can find us on the web at www.ccsitpros.com or call us at 719-439-0599. Have a great day.